Welcome, 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 guys. So, this is a dev diary for episode 9 for the 5th of March 2018. So, it's been a while. Um, I haven't been streaming since just before Christmas. Um, a lot was going on. There's been some hardware changes in my workstation here. I had to add a drive. I was running out of storage and stuff. Um, but, yeah. Um, Small changes to the project, updated the engine to 4.18 and had to roll back to 4.16. I was getting uh, corruptions in my project and stuff like that, my project file. Um, I will migrate again to 4.18, but at the moment there's no rush. Um, um, there's no design elements, um, no code, no blueprints, kind of heavier stuff like that. It's all content. And as far as I know, the shader models haven't changed, so we should be fine. Um, I might put up the mic a bit. There we go. So, um, I'm going to cover, just do kind of a roundup of where we're at at the moment. Um, introduce some of the kind of new ideas. Maybe talk about some of the content that I want to get into the engine. Some of the marketplace purchases I'm going to... Uh, get in the next week or two either f as placeholder for uh, the kind of um, alpha demo. Um, I don't think it's appropriate to call the, uh, the current demo target um, beta because um, it's far from beta. It's alpha. Um, it's not going to be feature complete and it's um, more kind of an earlier on version of the game um, just a kind of a taste to see if I can drum up some money and some funding and we're also going to talk a little about that and kind of the long-term um, goals of the project. So without further ado let's uh, kind of cover where we're at in the engine. So I'll come back to that but we were we have two generic buildings um, that cover kind of our houses um so with that in mind i think the focus from now on is to do one village well one area well uh and branch off from that um i may even block the players in the demo from going to certain areas but other than that um focus is going to be on gameplay elements in this area there is some stuff I'll have to introduce that might expand the playable area for the demo, such as fast travel. It may mean dressing up another scene, but really, I'm probably reuse the assets from this scene rather than develop new assets um, so early on in the project when we just want to give, put our best foot forward and show a nice shiny centerpiece area. It's not ideal considering it's an open world project, but this early on in the project we really want to put our best foot forward. Um, I have to recreate the blueprints for the door. Um, I may actually have those blueprints somewhere but I'll have to get working on those. Uh, you may have noticed I've added a chimney here so I'll bring you over here to the actual geometry. Um, I'm not gonna lie this probably took longer than it should have. Um, it's got, we'll open it up, we'll give you a look. I'll bring it over here. Um, it's orientation now may mean, so I might just on it. Okay, so we're here we are. So this is the fireplace. Um, as you can see, it's kind of a kit bash design, so I can use it in multiple scenarios. Um, it has five lods, and the reason for that being if I turn on wireframe, I could even decimate this one further down, but um, if I go to the base lot, you can see it's quite dense. Um, that was a sculpted surface that was retopologized. Um, lots of uh, trickery done um, on the mesh to kind of um, with map projections and um, some um, PBR work to get it looking the way it is. Um, it doesn't have edge wear on it yet. It doesn't have a lot of stuff, but um, considering the amount of time I put into it, 
and the fact that we're at a demo stage I'll probably uh, come back and do another texture pass in the future and get that working. I want to have like uh, candles and stuff that I can kind of uh, put on the um, on the model and kind of set dress up the area. Um, so we'll have a look at it in scene. So there it is at its lighting and its normals and its roughness and all the rest of it. Quite a simple material really after all said and done. Um, the workflow and the process was kind of the same as everything else. Um, but it was um, highly, highly sculpted and a lot of trickery and foolery. Um, a lot of smoke and mirrors uh, to actually get the effect done. Um, as you can imagine, some of the tessellation in certain areas in the sculpting package didn't work out very well. But once we abandoned the high poly um, uh, sculpted mesh, we were able to use, um, after retopology, we were able to use some image processing techniques, such as the blur tool in certain areas, or especially the concave areas where I was getting kind of um, um, candy wrapper is I've heard it called in animation terms when you get deformations on a joint but it can also happen due to tessellation where um, just because the nature of the mesh um, the topology of the mesh it kind of uh, can collapse into um, ugliness um, and also the masking tools, um, because they kind of have this an 8-bit dither sometimes on the brush, you may, when you're masking off like this area for the mortar and then kind of working on, on the brick areas, you may get um, some kind of weird effects going on. But that's fine, and with a little more texture work, um, it could be even better. You'll notice that, for instance, I have lichens on the higher parts of the building and there's no lichens up here yet. If anything, I might add a small bit of lichen at some stage, but you know what? There's no um, there's no rush in that, so I'm just going to get that back in place. So, um, we're still dynamic lighting, no static lighting. Um, damn the expense, we'll optimize the hell out of it um, when we come to cross that bridge. Um, so yeah, at the moment there is enough for me um, here, even if I don't uh, prop out, um, you know, decorate this place with props and set dressings like tables and furniture and, and all the rest of it. There's enough here thus far to kind of crack on ahead um, at this early stage um, to kind of give, um, you know, potential collaborators and um, sources of money uh, an idea of what the kind of end game or what the project is 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 kind of targeting so with that in mind um, I can move on I just need to get maybe the doors back in and a few other bits and pieces maybe do some set lighting in here um, one thing I will do is I'm probably going to put a fireplace in here so let's have a look at um, assets store and we'll talk briefly about uh, some of the assets so I'm gonna go back to the marketplace whenever you're ready on real front end so um, this is the fire fire starter FX so I t take it that's a, a reference to the prodigy but there's actually more effects here than we actually need um, Again, 26 euro comes back to time, especially in pre-alpha. Um, you know, um, it's going to cost me more time-wise generating these effects, doing all the PNG work and all the kind of um, all the image processing to come up with these effects and particle systems. So you know what, 26 quid, it's not a bad deal. Um, we can write it off at the end of the year. As, as saving time. Um, there's only a couple of effects that we really need um, and some that we probably have to do a bit of editing on but not to worry. Um, then uh, I just want to jump back into uh, the editor and go to our... Oh, we're going crazy here, clicking too fast. Okay, so um, this water um, you know, it's it's kind of doing the job. I'm going to increase my camera speed so I can get around the island a bit faster. 
Um, it's doing the job. Um, this is a different water from a different... Um, came with one of the, I think, the landscape auto material, hence it doesn't have the volume underneath. Um, but this water, you know, it's it's good. I like the splines. It's just a bit tropical. Um, these are the default colors. I, I had edited, edited it before so that it didn't look so tropical, that it was a bit more darker and kind of Atlantic and North Atlantic in nature. Um, well, I guess high to summer you might get um, effects like that, um, but in general uh, North Atlantic is going to be darker and more foreboding than that, especially for um, the kind of ambience we want to create for a game. So with that in mind, um, I was looking at this guy. Now you can already see that that's somewhat more um, kind of Atlantic in nature. And it also has a very similar, and it comes with a few other bits and pieces, you know, I can do rivers and stuff like that. I've, I've looked into this. Um, it's gone up in price again since I last looked at it. But it has fallen a lot. So let's have a look at this um, and see. So it uses splines in the same way as the previous one for uh, wave generation. Um, although I think they're a bit more efficient. Um, you can see the kind of flow there. It looks a hell of a lot better um, than the one we were using. Not to knock the one we were using. It's fine. It was cheap. It did the job. It got us uh, as far as we go. But I think uh, I may switch to this one. Um, Again, we'll have to do some editing on it and some work on it, but I think it might be a better solution to our needs than the previous one. Um, we'll have to test it and see how um, efficient it is, but it does look like it could be a better solution than the current, current um, water. Um, so yeah, with that said, probably in the next week or two we'll implement that. Um, we're kind of getting to the end of uh, kind of art as such. Um, the focus has to shift um, once this is kind of dressed up a bit more, maybe some props in there, um, but not too much. I don't want to show too much um, art and not enough of other things. So going to have to engage with my character artist, see if he's still available. Um, he might be under contract at the moment, there might be stuff there, I might have to wait for him um, uh, to finish whatever other project he's working on. Um, my animator and that may have to wait, so we might have to use placeholder characters. If I do, I'm going to use probably something Oh, probably the Unreal guy you see in the third, uh, <coughs> in the third person uh, template, uh, something like that. And if anything, custom animations, um, narrative audio, something has to be done there, uh, music-wise. As I said earlier, fast travel has to be implemented, and a few, um, a few small uh, kind of gameplay mechanics and features. Not all of them, just enough to um, to show um, that this is could be a contender for funding or different kind of uh, funding programs or grant programs that we may apply for in the future. So with that said, let's talk a bit about um, these funding models. So Creative Europe, um, during the summer I was at the Galway Games um, Gathering for developers and it was really cool uh, you know Romero was there and you know there was a lot of um, kind of other developers there and stuff it was very interesting and it was a good weekend I enjoyed it unfortunately uh, my team as some of you might know I'm from County Mayo they were playing in the All-Ireland Final Irish football Gaelic football and uh, they lost and that kind of put a bummer on the Sunday but anyways that aside, it was a great weekend, and we did have a talk from 
um, from the guys here at Creative Europe and uh, Video Game Funding Workshop. Um, this went on in Dublin uh, earlier this year, uh, but since I've been at the one in Galway and kind of got the load down on it, I figured um, I figured there was no point in kind of going to the expense of going to Dublin because, as many of you may know, Dublin's not a cheap place to just kind of visit for a weekend and hotel rooms and especially if you're going to something like this I know I'd probably stay with friends or family up there but you know you just want to kind of if you're there for for something like this you kind of want to you know be captain of your own ship for the weekend and not be kind of calling people up and, and that so with this project they don't want you to have gone into production fair enough um, so I've got to keep my demo short um, all this information is available online if you're interested in it. The deadline March 8th, 11am. So um, that is Friday or Thursday, rather. But some of the prerequisites to uh, gaining funding here are a bit year two for me, in the sense that they're probably. They're probably after I have uh, an alpha demo kind of displaying or, or kind of showing off the project. Um, so it's built on a point system. Um, so five points uh, if you're targeting young audiences, that's a bonus five points. Quality of content, so we'd hope be hoping to get 20 points straight away for that. Um, Innovation, um, 20 points, up to 20 points. Um, to be honest with you, I, I can't understand that. I don't know how that's even decided. Um, how, do, how, do you, how do you quantify innovation? Um, innovation in game design is a daily occurrence. It's not. It should be given that everyone gets 20 points. Because you're going to be using a new piece of tech, regardless of, you know, if if you if you're serious, you're going to be using a you know, a new piece of kit, regardless. So that's a bit confusing, but I, without prior knowledge, I'd assume that twenty points is a given. Quality of development strategy. I guess. I guess so, yeah, 20 points. Yeah, that's all, that's all kind of a given. You should be, if you're applying for this, you should be definitely getting that. Ten points, quality of distribution uh, strategy. Hmm, partner in place or envisaged so they want you to use a publisher basically um meh um that's kind of this is what i mean that but this year uh this doesn't seem like it's feasible right now because i'm not at a point where i can go to a publisher i need to be able to sh you need to be able to show them something that doesn't just look pretty that functions that shows that um that you and two or three other people could do this, but given a year and a team and a budget, you could probably do a hell of a lot more. Um, 10 points, quality of marketing strategy. Yeah, marketing strategy. In terms of marketing channels, promotional activities, yeah, marketing strategy, I mean, again, uh, a marketing person and or team would require um, content, content to market. So um, again, you want the hype for your game to be real. There's no point in handing out um, even well done um, concept art for general marketing. I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're looking for investors or kind of monies then a certain amount of concept art depending on who you're dealing with might be 
might be a good idea. Uh, but as regards um, as regards at this phase, you really need to be shown that this is uh, actualized, that this is not something that exists on paper, even if you did go to the expense of paying a, a talented um, concept artist, you need to be able to show that this is actually um, executable. So, some elements of concept art, but you want real-time, in-engine, believe-the-hype stuff. Um, so, 10 points for that. Again, you know, this is the kind of thing that later on you're going to actually engage with professional marketing people um, and this is what tells me that it's too early well it's too uh, considering that the deadline's Thursday I won't be applying that's a given but that's why I kind of backed off this year from from applying um, I'll have all summer with the demo to go around to industry events here in Ireland and maybe in the UK if I can afford it and um, plug plug the, the game showing teasers and the demo and that um, quality of project team potential of the creative team adequacy of the team to the project complementary profiles in the creative team that's just you know you know what you're doing you should do quality of financing strategy again this is a big one this is a big one in the sense that a financing strategy this is something that you really want um, that you really want to actually get professional help with it's not something that you can go oh well you know I'm going to try and get money here and I'm going to try and get money there no you're going to actually have to go out and pay someone to come up with a plan. Someone who's um, used to the world of, world of finance, who's used to um, um, this kind of field. So in order to actually do a successful application for this, um, for this program, you're going to be spending money not on your game not on well technically on your game but um, you're going to be spending money to just put a, the most kick-ass proposal together ever so with that in mind I believe we're not going to go for this year we're going to go if we go for it and chances are I will um, it'll be next year 2019 and I, if I come up with other ways of funding the project into beta and onto gold um, I will but I'll keep this in mind but I'm gonna just plow on um, if the demo generates uh, enough hype and enough interest in the project and I can get some office space and some money to pay some freelancers then we'll do that we won't wait in our hands for um, a highly competitive program from Creative Europe because this program is going to have literally hundreds of people applying some former you know people with 10 15 years experience in the industry who are going to be applying for this and if you think that you with your new startup can just jump on in there and make a big splash and get one of the the higher kind of funding amounts it's not going to happen so unfortunately this year that's out of the question we're going to have to keep it we're going to have to keep it low budget folks so back to our project so in order to hit demo we need a UI system a save game system these are the main things that have to be in just before anything else save game system fast travel system and 
that should be us. It, we can use um, we can use stock um, in engine what's here already the, the the third person template style character that kind of ragdoll dude and uh, or crash test dummy looking guy and uh, yeah everything else you know we want to show a bit of everything so some audio some music would be nice I have a guy in Galway who I think he's in Galway um, who who could be up for doing some tracks a track so in the next while um, bar kind of putting some lichens there putting the doors on and getting kind of uh, the water replaced and getting f just that fire just to put in here as placeholder for now um, and and that uh, there's not going to be a hell of a lot more content I, I will fix up the roads you can see there that I've only really done a bit there because this, again this was a fallback project um, and replace you know um, bar, bar the kind of content changes we've outlined um, it's on to design time and um, there's enough time spent here especially this early on in the project so we best just crack on with it uh, I may actually bring those that forested area closer to here just to make things more interesting. Yeah. So guys, that was Development Diary, Episode 9. Um, for March the 5th, 2018. And I'll chat to you all again. Take care. <laughs>